dear young brothers and sisters of the new generation of Hindustan, most warm greetings and regards to all of you. My name is Thomas and having reached almost 70 years of age, I do belong to the old generation, obviously. But during the last few years, I'm constantly watching your upcoming and your performances. Your extraordinary academic achievements your capacity to explore and make inventions in the digital world, your strong desire to reach high goals, and your entrepreneurship really merit compliments, congratulations, appreciation and applause. And I do sincerely extend the same to you all. You may wonder why being a member of the older generation, I am so interested in you. It's just because it is your future, the future of our great nation, Hindustan. I do watch your performances almost constantly. For example, just have a look on the photograph which I am going to show you now, which absorbed my attention or which kept me absorbed for almost 20 minutes thinking about your determination, devotion, dedication, desire and decision to make you fittest to survive in the struggle for existence, which all of us have to face in life. See this photograph. Have a look. In fact, this is a demonstration of your determination, dedication, desire and decision to make you successful. And I got really surprised. And I congratulate you for such a hard work you are doing. While you are dedicating your time and energy to make you excellent in the academic subjects such as science, technology, engineering, uh, economics, finance, banking, administration, management, etc. I am deeply concerned that you are unaware of having missed some of the most important and precious cornerstones which is indispensable to make your future strong and also to rebuild Hindustan. You are unaware of those important cornerstones just because those were intentionally hidden from you by the central government of India, which came into existence since 1947 until the last few years. And those cornerstones are the most important episodes happened in the true history of Hindustan. About 600 years of Islamic invasion and their dominion. And thereafter, about 400 years of the European invasion and their dominion had practically destroyed our nation and cancelled our true history. That's what happened. And due to their continued influence even after 1947 the true history of our nation is not yet included in the scholastic syllabus and so during the course of time it was almost forgotten or we have lost 
and the disastrous consequence of this intentionally induced ignorance is that most or the large majority of our citizens really lost their identity and they don't know even their noble origin and this has induced practically a mental disorder which in turn was transformed into an inferiority complex especially in front of those nations which destroyed us and this is what happened to all generations which came into existence since 1940. So they really suffer from this mental disorder which is the inferiority complex. My best fortune was that when I was in my middle school classes I had two teachers who were freedom fighters and who had participated in the Quit India movement of Gandhi. So when it was time for us in the middle school to learn the descriptions in the social studies as part of the academic syllabus or scholastic syllabus to learn that India is a poor country and it belongs to the third world. Fortunately, those teachers explained us, described us what exactly happened to Hindustan, why we were classified in such a list, just to boost up our self-esteem and proudness of being born in this great nation. So practically, they eradicated any sort of even thought about an inferiority complex in our life. And thanks to their effort, in spite of my birth in a lower middle class family, which really struggled to survive during my early ages of life, by the time I was 34 years of age, I could reach the position of the technical director of a multinational pharmaceutical company in Switzerland. So for professional reasons, I had to travel and stay frequently in the United States, in Canada, in UAE, and all European countries. And during those frequent travel and stay back, I had a great opportunity to meet many of our citizens already settled in those countries and some even having acquired the nationality of those countries. But irrespective of their academic qualification and their positions in the organizations where they are working, I could identify, I could trace, I could recognize a visible shadow of inferiority complex in their words, on their face, in their behavior, and as a whole in their body language. The reason is they didn't know the true history of Hindustan and the nobility of their origin. And that was the reason. Because I had the opportunity to discuss this matter with many of those people. They had very good houses, luxury cars, a lot of money in the bank, but still this problem existed and it is still existing. So if you go to Google and simply type inferiority complex of Indians, you can find not less than 100,000 articles and hundreds of videos 
handling this problem or discussing this problem. So it's a public secret. This is the effect of the disastrous mental disorder, which then turned into inferiority complex. Until there is a trace of inferiority complex in any deep corner or angle of your mind, it is so difficult to keep your backbone upright and look into the eyes of any person of any country only with mutual respect and nothing more. So it is my desire to share with you my experience and information I have gathered since my middle school classes and during the whole life in such a way that you can have a precise idea of the true history of Hindustan, which will surely make you boost your self-esteem, your proudness, and your self-confidence for being born in such a noble and great country. So that you can look into the eyes of any person of any nation with only mutual respect and nothing more, keeping your backbone upright. And then only you will be respected and accepted. Only from such a generation, Hindustan can regain its original splendor and reputation. So, if you are interested, please, watch the following videos I will be posting and subscribe this channel and if it's interesting for you please share the next videos to as much persons as, as you can who belongs to the new generation like you because it's very important for the reconstruction of Hindustan. Also. Please do the necessary in order to receive the notification each time when I'll be posting a new video. So, thank you for paying attention to my words. I wish you a bright future. Jai Hind. Namaskar.